fuck is she doing here now? Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I got something you can gag on if you'd rather not gag on hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. At least it would keep you shut up. I'll just bet you will. Wait, she just got one of the alcohol ones. She just got one of the special the ones. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. <laughs> okay, so I have to... Now I have to do something with her. Where, where the fuck is Doc following me? Didn't he have important shit to do? Hmm. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Hmm. I wonder fact, if I can get her I to... Know a local charity that's I wonder if she can, soup. uh... Oh. If I can get her to give that soup to the doc or something. Uh, none of them are like Doc or some shit like that. You say so give it to yourself. Society. Yes, we do generally provide refreshments for the Stay Sober Society, but I'm afraid they may not be able to meet tonight. They haven't got a meeting space. Hmm. So I, I have to figure out where they can meet. Society can meet. Oh, then I have to like where? steal it or something. Park. Police I definitely don't want to do it in the police station. The bomb speakeasy, that's kind of pointless. The brown... The brown residence. Actually, that might the be a good idea. Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son, Emmett. And he's told me the judge would love to lend his yeah. place up. For, <laughs> love you know, to lend the place. Causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. Hey oh better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. I got a book. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's tell him it. Um let me talk there. This subpoena oh, for yeah, I, for I forgot all about the fucking subpoena. Have you seen him? We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. <laughs> Fuck you, Doc. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. <laughs> if serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You can get shot. Get shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Hmm. What do you know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? He's a Who fucking knows? wimp. Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. <laughs> like going back in time. <laughs> but couldn't you tweak your engine design a little so it runs on something else? Like what? I don't know. Gas, maybe? Gasoline? <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a joke. Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? 
Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of see-through. Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Ah, oh, wait till you get around to that one. We'll get that you'll, uh, you'll come up with a new invention. Yeah. Okay. Well, he didn't honestly have anything to say, so I probably have to deliver the subpoena or something first, so I'm gonna try talking this one asshole here. Tannen. Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. I fucking you? spit on your huh? shoe. I'm sitting at a shoe I didn't mean to, man. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Yeah, I don't know why he thought that would work. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. <laughs> so when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Bitch. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> okay, that's just gross. <laughs> you wanna you wanna eat peanuts out of a hat that fucking was on a dude's head for you have no clue how long. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh? Shoe shine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. What the hell is that? What do you mean? Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! <laughs> You do. Something really stupid. Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Damn it. Why did we need the hat? Run, Hemet. Throw it. Do something, you dumb shit. Oh wow, that was actually kind of slick. Damn it. A monkey out of Kid Tannen. He stepped in shit. <laughs> nice. Ow! Fix me up. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Wow, I love how his pocket is big enough to just, you know, hold a hat. Ah, damn it. Yeah, Marty used an object to find its owner. How? Uh, I don't know. Uh. This hat belongs to my grandfather. How did I use an object to find somebody? I'm drawing a blank now. <gasps> oh, yes! And now I remember the dog. God, I was drawing an epic blank on that for no good reason. So I just take the hat. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that one I had to look at a tip for because I had no fucking clue what I was supposed to do with that hat. It didn't even dawn on hey, me in the slightest. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Then <laughs> he goes to a peanut factory. 
Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Hey, Doc, you got to see yourself, young. Good job. Oh, wow, that's the same uh, apartment that uh, Edna ah, lived in. Deja vu. Yeah, except she's not screaming out the window. <laughs> oh, wow, the arcade's a billiards par parlor now. Need any help? Um, yeah, I'm going to play some pool. Okay. Guess I can't seem to click on anything. Let's talk to Einstein real quick. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! I know! It's Darth Vader from the planet Vulcan. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, skip. I, I guess I can't skip it. What? Now. <laughs> okay. Let's try showing him the hat. Yeah, I don't think anything else would work. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay. But damn it! <laughs> Keep hitting that wrong fucking button. So what else can I show him here that might work? The photo, maybe? <laughs> uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. Yeah, that's true. Need any help? Um, never mind. Someone's playing tricks on me. Sometimes it feels like somebody's watching me and I can't sing for shit. What now? Just try talking. It's just just try again. talking to him again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand uh mother's great